Transformers Rescue Bots, Blast Off, adapted by Lucy Rosen, based on the episode Space Bots, written by Greg Johnson. Today's the big day, Cody beams at his brother Graham. In a few minutes, you and Doc Green will be hurtling through space on a laser-powered elevator. Aren't you excited? Sure, Graham says. I'm excited, in a terrified sort of way. Come on, says Cody. The Asgard is an amazing machine. You'll go straight up and come right back down. It's no big deal. It's time to go, says Professor Anna Baranova. She invented the Asgard so that scientists could easily study the galaxies from outer space. Once you get to the top, you'll have a whole week to conduct tests and research, she says. Doc Green gives his daughter, Frankie, a hug, and Graham says goodbye to the Burns family. The Burns family and Frankie hang out on the sidelines to watch the Asgard take off. T minus 10 seconds to lift off, the control tower announces. 10, 9, 8. Here they go, cries Cody. But there's something blocking the path of the laser. Rescue bots, roll out, yells Chief Burns. We're on it, exclaims Heatwave. The robots leap into action. Seven, six, five. Boulder, Blades, and Chase grab hold of the spacecraft and lift it off the ground. Four, three, two. Hurry, says Professor Baranova. If they don't remove the obstruction, the laser will overload. One. With no time to lose, Heatwave leaps to swat the object out of the way. Blast off! The laser powers up and lifts the Asgard into the sky. Later that night, the four rescue bots and Cody sit on the rooftop, while Frankie uses her telescope to search for signs of the Asgard. Maybe one of us should have gone with Doc and Graham, in case something else goes wrong, says Heatwave. Guys, cries Frankie, I see it. Check this out. She shows everyone the Asgard and its flight path in space. But Cody is distracted. What's that, he asks, zooming in on a streak of light in the corner of the screen. It's a meteor, says Frankie. Daddy has been tracking it for weeks. It's not on course to go anywhere near the Asgard. It's headed for something, though, Heatwave murmurs to himself. But what? On board the Asgard, Graham and Doc Green go through their checklist. Doc Green calls out the names of the Asgard's four pods as Graham looks at each of them on his computer screen. Everything is stable, exclaims Doc Green. That means we did it. Phase one is complete. But before Graham can even breathe a sigh of relief, the Asgard's alarm begins to blare. What's happening? asks Graham. On Earth, the gang watches the meteor through Frankie's telescope. It tears through space, blasts through an asteroid field, and sends a huge rock careening toward the Asgard. The asteroid is heading straight for one of the ship's four pods, yells Frankie. If it hits, the whole machine will be unstable. We've got to do something, quick. In space, Doc Green and Graham prepare for impact. Boom, the rock wipes out the Asgard's living quarters pod and knocks the ship off course. No one is hurt, but now the Asgard is floating through darkness with no way to get back on course. The radio is down. Graham and Doc Green can't get in touch with anyone on Earth. What do we do now, Graham whispers nervously. We wait for a rescue, says Doc Green. There's no time to lose. The rescue bots know what they must do. Rescue bots, get ready, says Chase. Looks like we're about to go on a space rescue. Cody and Frankie get Chief Burns. Together, the humans and the rescue bots head to a secret hangar, where the ship the bots came to Earth in is hidden. The Sigma, Boulder marvels. Think we remember how to fly her? We're about to find out, says Heatwave. Boulder, Chase, you're co-pilots. Everyone, strap in. It's time to rocket to the rescue. The Sigma's engines roar. The ship lurches forward. With a blast, the spacecraft takes off into the dark night sky. Wow, Cody, says Frankie. Don't you wish we were going too? No one answers. Cody? Frankie looks around. Where is he? Cody peeks out from behind the Sigma's control deck. Whoa, he says amazed. Did we take off already? Cody! The rescue boss had no idea their friend accidentally stowed away on the ship, but it's too late to turn back. I guess I'm an astronaut now, says Cody. And I'm your spacesuit, Heatwave replies. Get inside. 
he opens the door to his cab, where Cody will be safe from harm. The Sigma climbs higher into space. Soon enough, the Asgard is just within reach. Boulder, move us closer, he wave commands. I'll go get Doc and Graham. As he pushes down the Sigma's entry ramp, Heatwave speaks to his friend. Buckle up, Cody, he says. Looks like you're going on a spacewalk. With a swift leap, Heatwave propels himself at just the right angle. His momentum carries him straight to the Asgard. As soon as he reaches the ship, Heatwave tears through each pod, searching for his friends. At last, he finds Graham and Doc Green huddled in the greenhouse. Get in, he commands. Heatwave is just in time. A split second after Doc Green and Graham close the door to Heatwave's cab, the greenhouse's windows crack open, sucking all the air out of the pod. Hold on, Heatwave yells as all the oxygen pours out of the ship, knocking him off his feet. Heatwave grabs at anything he can, but the suction is too powerful. He's pulled into space. We're adrift, Heatwave signals to his friends aboard the Sigma. I don't have any propulsion. Now what do we do, cries Blades in despair. We did not train for this. Keep calm, everyone, Heatwave says. We'll think of something. Just then, Cody has an idea. Use your fire hoses, he says. If you spray them, the force of the water will push us in the right direction. Worth a shot, says Heatwave. Here goes nothing. In a flash, Heatwave activates his water reserves. The burst of water sends the rescue bot flying. It's working, Graham cries. Once they're back aboard the Sigma, the rescue bots hitch the Asgard to their spaceship. Looks like we got everything we came for, says Boulder. Next stop, Griffin Rock. The gang lands back on Earth in no time. Daddy! Frankie rushes to Doc Green's side. Welcome back, son, Chief Burn says to Graham. You had us worried, Danny tells him. Everyone is so relieved to see the space travelers back home safe and sound. Even Kate gives Graham a hug. Well, rescue bots, says Blade, it looks like our space rescue was a success. Yes, says Boulder, and it was kind of nice flying the Sigma again. Perhaps we'll get the opportunity to use her again someday, Chase remarks. Maybe, Heatwave says, but nothing beats rolling to the rescue on good old terra firma. What is that? asks Boulder. Earth? Heatwave looks at the night sky. He looks around at his friends on Griffin Rock. At last, he speaks. It's home. Woohoo! The book is complete!